going to be watching Classic Who, The Romans, the first two episodes. Let's get on with it. What the hell? So you're awake at last, young man. Where are Barbara and Vicky? Yes, they have. Oh, Vicky, there's no need to be in such a hurry. I thought we were going to have adventures. Been here nearly a month, and all everyone wants to do is sit around. All right, so yes. it's been a month. The adventures come without us looking for them. You can never tell with the doctor. We can't see us finding what we want here. Very suitable, I agree. What were the fashions like when you left London? London? Never heard of it. You mean Londinium. When in <laughs> can I help? We'll think about it and come back later. We are buying information. Do you know them? The site, not the names. How many of them are there? Four. You've no idea where they come from? Londinium, I think. They are Britons. <laughs> I don't know when I've enjoyed a meal more. What was it we had before? Mm. Ants' eggs. Absolutely skip. What did you say? <laughs> ants' eggs, Doctor. Yes, that's what I thought she said. Ants' eggs. Doctor, there's one thing I wanted to ask you. What about the TARDIS? Oh, so you want to move on, do you? It's been three or four weeks since we left the TARDIS. The TARDIS is quite safe where it is. I've never known it a pair of warriors. Can't wait to get away for a couple of days. The dialogue in on, Classic Who is on, so on, good. On, it's so on, engaging. On, you just... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's just so good. You never told us you were going away. Under any obligation to report my movements to you, Chesterfield? Chester Tun. Oh, Barbara's calling you. What the hell? Where are you going, Doctor? <laughs> to Rome, my child. Oh, can I come with you? Very well, then, very well. All better come with you to Rome. Just turn down my invitation. Afraid to let me out of your sight, are you? I will not stand for it. Want a good room? Go yourselves. What's the matter, my slip showing? I was just thinking what a splendid looking Roman you make. One thing out of place. That hair. That, but Come I sit down. Now, just a minute, Barbara. Don't be such a baby. Come here. <laughs> Why do you think the doctor will be away? There. Feels awful. Hey, that's not too bad. <clears throat> Roman! I come to bury Caesar. Not to <laughs> Oh, boy, that was a mistake. I could get used to this sort of life. What about another drink? Yes, I'd love one. No ice, I'm afraid. Well, there's some in the fridge. <laughs> very funny, very <laughs> funny. Cheers. <laughs> you hear something, Barbara? No. There's someone out there. Who's there? What do you want? Ian? <laughs> Run, Barbara! Oh, oh, Ian! Ah! Ah! What's this? Oh, the poor man. He left his belongings, too. Good evening. Are you looking for somebody? Is that you, a liar? And what if it is? Hmm? Why, it's you I'm looking for. Oh. <laughs> oh, I... Yes. You must be Maximus Petullian from Corinth. We hmm. expected you in a Sisium yesterday. The Emperor of all Rome is very concerned for your safe arrival. <laughs> he looks forward to discussing your music with you. We can't go with him. But why not, my child? Doctor, you don't even know your own Oh, what idea? It, 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 it. Maximus Petullian, if you're ready. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> When he and Vicky get back from Rome... Well, and... wait for us. Oh, yes, they'll wait for us. But for how long? <laughs> Come on, let's inspect the goods. <laughs> uh, these two. Uh, that one. A bid for the woman in Rome, if you like. Oh, Rome! Rome. <laughs> Ian! <laughs> Ian! I went to where the body should have been, mm -hmm. and there he was alive. <laughs> Fail me again, and you'll lose more than your tongue. <laughs> I like that title for the episode. The answer is, of course, is not to be caught playing it. <laughs> oh, so you want to fight? <laughs> wow. Why did you have to come in and interrupt? I realise you're a man of many talents, Doctor, but I didn't know fighting was... My a dear, I am one of the best. Remember, we make an early start tomorrow. When I say we go to Rome, then we go to Rome. Good night. <laughs> I want you looking special at the slave auction. Are you more comfortable now? Much better. <laughs> if I was there, I'd stay away from her. You don't want to catch anything. Supposed to be bad weather coming up. Gotta get away from here. Venus land. I'll take any risks, believe me. Oh, he's dead. Oh, fuck. You have to do better than that. Prepare your oars. 
Dumb. <coughs> Young woman, I want to help you. You have to trust me. You see, I should have to buy you. There's no private sale. <coughs> She's to be sold by auction. What about her? She won't be wanting any new clothes. She wouldn't fetch any price at all at the auction. She's to be taken to the circus and thrown in the arena. Wow. <laughs> Damn, this is cool. That was cool. What's going on over there, Doctor? Nothing to interest you, my dear. Damn, he just missed her. Fiery spirit. What an arsehole. What does he want? I think he's a good guy, but what does he want? What's up with him? <sighs> I thought he was gonna like smash his head in whilst he was asleep with the rock. I'll try to. You saved my life, Delos. Let's let's get on with these, shall we? I've managed to look around. We must be somewhere near Rome. Perhaps we're going there. Perhaps. We must get away from here. I'm going to Rome. I have a friend who was taken there. I have to find her. I saw you with that poor woman slave. I should have to help you. Most people under such circumstances would have looked after themselves. <laughs> That's why I said she should do. <laughs> here, in Nero's house, life will be more pleasant than it could have been. If you should escape and you're recaptured, it would mean your death. I only select and buy the slaves. I'm not answerable for them. Maximus Battalion from Corinth has arrived, sir. Uh, the doctor. He requests an audience with Caesar Nero. I shouldn't think there's a soul in this place that knows me, my dears. Maximus Battalion. There was trouble. But I settled it. He's in the apoditarium. The apodi what? The apoditarium. <laughs> oh, really? Caesar Nero. <laughs> Royal felicitations. <laughs> Someone spoke. Maximus Battalion. Play. Hmm? Play. Shit. And I will take the inspiration from your example, sire. This is an inferior instrument. I cannot. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, no, it wasn't as good. Of course it wasn't. <laughs> Try this one. Be an impossibility. We will talk and play together later, Maximus. I got out of that one rather well. Hmm? Here we are, Ian. Rome. Find somewhere to clean up, man. Duck's been with us so far. Who's to say it won't hold? Come on. <laughs> Great look. Well, we might as well have a look round now we're here. Strange, very strange. But that's the centurion of... What does it all mean? Ah. You're lucky the soldiers brought you to me. Escape slaves are put to death automatically. You have a chance of fighting for your freedom. By putting on a good show in the arena. It sounds as if we're going to be trained as gladiators. Yes, True. But to fight what? Wow. Really good story so far. I love the vibe. The Doctor and Vicky as a duo. I really like them together. I think they're really cool. Ian and Barbara, as always, cool. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's not much else to say. I, I just like, I like all of it. Ian gonna be trained as a gladiator <laughs> going up against a lion, I think that was. Really cool. That's what's gonna happen in the next two episodes. Really cool. I like season one, but season two just feels like a whole nother level. Yeah, really liking season two. There's a part of me that likes Vicky more than Susan because she's not just like all over the place screaming. Yeah, I think I prefer the Doctor and Vicky. Sort of, yeah. Uh, yeah, so far two episodes in really good. Can't wait to watch more. <laughs>